yes. Now let's take a, an attempt at, at solving this uh, exercise uh, two, mini exercise two, where we should uh, launch a ROS call, start the listener node that we compiled in the previous exercise, a mini exercise, and then we should try to send messages uh, on the correct topic uh, from the ROS topic command and look into what actually happens here. So uh, now we insert our ROS workspace just to be sure that we have actually um, the right uh, settings set up. I'll just source the file here and then uh, start the ROS call. So now that's running and in the new terminal we'll do exactly the same thing here. And now we need to see if we can start the, the listener node using the ros run command. And ros run takes first the uh, name of the package and then we uh, should uh, specify the name of the executable file that is present there. And in this case, it's uh, the Python script that was installed earlier. Um, so we can just launch it here and now it's running and <coughs> that doesn't seem to, to happen anything here. But to provide a better overview, I'll try to, to launch a new uh, terminal here and hopefully we can see both. Uh, that was the intention at least. Like that. And to get an overview of um, what is happening here, we can take a Rust topic and uh, give it the argument list, which then provides us a list of all the active topics at the moment that um, the running nodes are either listening to or publishing uh, data to. And we have this uh, chatter uh, topic here that uh, the listener will probably listen to. <coughs> we can also take a look at the uh, file um, and see how it actually works. So I'll just upload a, an editor for, for this part. Um, easy to use a big font here. Like that. And the entire script. For, for the entire program in this file is, is uh, within the, the screen here. Um, we load the raspi package and we import the string data type from standard messages. And what is uh, happening is uh, when this is uh, executed or launched, we goes down into this part, uh, first two methods are implemented. And then we read this part, which calls the listener method, goes up to here. And then we initialize the node uh, with the name listener. And um, it's an anonymous node, so it is also added a, an additional part to, to the name. So we'll have a, a unique name. And then the node is set to subscribe to the chatter topic where it expects to receive messages of the type string. And when a message is received, the callback function is uh, activated, which is up here. Um, and here it will call the Raspi log, log info and put some information about um, what is being uh, received of, of data. So yeah. So this is what uh, the program uh, does or the node is, is doing. Uh, so it listens for data. So we should try to publish some data to it. <coughs> then we could do that through the Rust topic and then pop command. And then we need to specify the, um, the topic we want to publish to. And if we continue auto-completing by pushing um, tabulator, It'll tell us the type of the data that can be exchanged on, on that topic. And finally, um, it will give us some kind of uh, data string that we can pass around. So we can say, hello world, um, 
from cost topic here. And when we press enter here, uh, it should uh, appear in our different um, uh, console over here where we are running the uh, listener node and we uh, get the exact message um, that was pushed from, from the terminal or bus topic over here. So that's one way of sending data from one node to a different node or from the terminal into one of the nodes. And I think we have uh, looked into what actually happens um, when we are passing information around. So uh, that was the sixth exercise.